I am in my new car, as you can probably tell, this is not the Micra. <laughs> um, so if you watched my last video, I, I, I explained that I've, got, I've broken the Micra um, and I have swapped the Mazda 3 MPS for another car, which is this that I'm in now. As you can probably guess from the subtle <laughs> seat, seat embroidery, um, I am in a Honda. So I swapped the Mazda 3 MPS for a Honda Civic Type R. Um, it's a 2007 uh, FN2, so um, yeah, it was just straight swap for the Mazda. Um, I was originally looking for an Accord Type R just because I really love the H-Series engine and I have never had an Accord Type R, um, but this popped up and it was too good to turn down. And to be honest, and up until that point, I'd never really driven one before. It's about the only Civic that I've never driven. I've driven the FK2, um, so like this and the FK8 are the only ones I've not driven so far. And um, it actually really surprised me. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. So it wasn't a car that I would have really considered before, but I drove one a couple of weeks before, um, before I got offered this and it was an awesome car to drive. Um, I had an EP3 years ago and it just, it was an awesome car but it had just like little bits and pieces about it that I didn't really like. Um, one of them being the electric power steering and it, it, in standard form they're a lot, um, a, a lot more wallowy, like this feels a lot more planted. Um, it's a bit stiffer which actually got um, gave it negative reviews when it came out but if you're wanting it for like a mix of performance and daily driving it's actually perfect because the standard suspension is fairly decent um yeah and then the interior in the ep3 wasn't wasn't great quality um i i don't really like the seats in the ep3 and um i feel like just inside that the, the fn2 it feels a lot better built um the dash is just a lot nicer and the seats are a lot better quality um, but yeah, look, don't get me wrong, the EP3 is an awesome car, but until I drove this, I didn't realise how much nicer this was inside. Because um, I'll be honest, I'm, I was one of those people that wasn't too keen on the on the looks. Um, like, it, it's not bad looking. I don't think in standard form it's a bad looking car, it just looks a little bit odd. Um, I think you can do a lot to change that, like it, it doesn't take a lot to make it look a, a really nice car, but um, yeah, in standard form they do look a slightly, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is, I think it's a back end, but yeah, anyway, the um, so yeah, I, I wanted another Honda, uh, this popped up, I've had like every Civic imaginable from like 1985 onwards. So loads of B-series, D-series, um, and yeah, it's, um, so I've never really had a lot of experience with the K-series other than my EP3, um, which I only had for about six months, and um, yeah, so I wanted to, I wanted a Honda that I'd never, not, that I was going to learn something new, new with, because I've done the B-series and H-series hundreds of times. Um, and it's not really new to me. Um, I kind I kind of like learning new stuff as I like with cars. I don't like keep going. I don't like to keep going back to the same old thing. So um, yeah. So now I'm in an FN2. Um, it's a 2007 model. Uh, it has done 148,000 miles. Actually, nearly 149. <laughs> and um, yeah. My Mazda 3 MP. I did a straight swap for my Mazda 3 MPS, which only had a hundred thousand miles on it. So um, the reason I did that is actually this has a fresh engine in it, and it's and the chassis is actually really nice. It still drives really, really well for a car that's got that kind of mileage on. Um, so yeah, bas basically. Um, yeah, I did a straight swap for, for for this. The reason this has got fresh engine in it is because it doesn't actually have the standard engine in it. So um, the FN2 originally came with a K20 engine, which was a two liter VTEC uh, engine, produced about 200 horsepower. 
Uh, this one actually has a, a what they call a Frankenstein K24 in it, so it is um, an Accord Type S bottom end uh, with a, a Civic Type R head on it, so like a 2.4 block with a 2 litre head on it. Um, and yeah, basically all that does is just makes the displacement bigger so that you've got a ba basically a 2.4 Type R instead of a 2 litre Type R. And um, yeah, it, it drives, it does actually just drive totally different with with this engine in it because the, because it just has so much more mid-range and low down torque compared to the 2 litre. Um, it does need a little bit of work doing to it to get it perfect, but, but I'll explain that as I walk around the car. That's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me. That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga, I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you're right. With me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the fast stick, you can get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? So let's uh, start with the interior. So it's, as you can see, the dashboard's just a much nicer looking thing than the than the older EP3, I think. Um, to be honest, the only real improvement, I think, from the EP3 to this, like the, it, the significant improvement is just the quality of the interior. I think the, the interior quality is just much better. So um, yeah. As you can see, that's the dashboard, the seats. Um, it needs a good clean in here. I haven't given it a clean yet, but um, I could probably do with like wet vac in the seats. Is they're a bit marked, but uh, yeah, that's the dash. Um, you can turn the ignition on. So you've got like your rev rev gauge and everything here, um, fuel temperature and then your speedo is actually on a separate thing this is awesome for me because i'm pretty tall so that's like my line of sight um usually i get like a portion of the dials cut off because i'm sitting so high um but because it's split i can actually see everything so you've got your speedo and everything up there and then your rev gauge um and it's just a really nice layout because you can't it doesn't block the steering wheel doesn't block any any of the um any of the vision off so yeah that's cool and then you've got like all your heater controls and everything here and then there's the display for the heater um it's had a double din head unit put in it this um double din surround is just like an aftermarket one and it doesn't fit that great you can see there's a gap there and it's not the same color as the rest of the dashboard so i probably will sort that at some point because that'll do my head in um yeah interior is in pretty good condition anyway the mats need changing the mats are just really old they keep like folding up underneath my feet uh the boots really worn out so i need to change that as well but yeah interior wise that there isn't a lot to do in here i just need to tidy it up a little bit but yeah i'm really happy with the interior like it's such a nice place to be the seats are really comfortable um 
and yeah, you've got everything you need. So you got cruise control, um, y your hand controls for your for your stereo, um, like all the all the comforts comforts that you need. The aircon um, needs recharging, but it does have aircon as well. Um, but yeah, that's everything inside. I'll um, let's jump out now, and I'll show you around the outside and. There, there is quite a lot, lot of work needs doing on the outside, so I will, sh I will show you. We'll start with that. Outside, um, as you can see, it's just a Nighthawk Black FN2. There hasn't been really any mods done to it, to be honest. Um, black on black, such a bad color combination for the ca for the camera. It's uh, doesn't like picking it up, but yeah, it's pretty much standard. It's on Fox Racing wheels. Um, not the wheels I would have chose to put on the car, but they're not a bad looking wheel to be fair. Um, they're a bit curbed, but yeah, I don't mind them. Uh, and then the fog lights have been removed for the, um, yeah, for the air vents. So that, other than that, I think that is everything for the outside, but everything else is just standard. It just needs a few things tidying up. Um, it's got the typical stone chips in the bonnet they stone chip really bad these fn2s for some reason um yeah the wiper wiper arms could do with a refurb i i had to stick wiper blades on it pretty much straight away because the wiper blades were absolutely knackered the that wing's not too bad but this wing's <laughs> pretty badly dented you can see there is like rippled to like mad um the the uh oh yeah, the um, the arch has been cable tied back on, so I need another one of those. And yeah, this back quarter is rippled to like mad as well, so that needs pulling out. Um, it's got the usual rust starting to appear at the top of the top of the windscreen. That this is a really uh, common problem on the FN2s. Almost everyone you see has this. Uh, I think if you're lucky, you can get it done under warranty with Honda, but they are pretty reluctant to do it. So you have to battle with them for quite a while um, from what I've seen on the um, owner's forums, but I might try and get that done. We'll see. I, I don't know if this one will be too old for it now, but it's worth a try. <laughs> um, but yeah, back's pretty clean. Back's not, doesn't really need anything doing to it. It's, it's um, got a little bit of a, um yeah the, the exhaust melted a little bit the bumper there so that need that but when you stood here you can't even see it anyway so i probably won't even bother doing anything about that um but there's a good chance i'll probably change the rear diffuser for the mugen one because i prefer the mugen back bumper anyway so um yeah and then it's fairly clean on this side this side's all right <laughs> um, yeah, that side's all right. But yeah, like I said, there's a few little bodywork bits that need doing on that side. Um, nothing major, major, but just stuff that lets the car down. Um, plans for the outside is just to tidy it up for now. Uh, I might change the wheels at some point. I want to get some uh, bigger brakes for the front, possibly. Uh, the tires need changing. The tires are absolutely horrendous. I don't even know what they are, but they have have no grip. It understeers like mad. Um, so yeah, some decent wheels and tires would be a good place to start. Um, I I've never really been a big fan of like blacking out lights, but these look really good with the um, with slightly darker headlights on them. So I think I might like slightly tint. The, the lights um, and then possibly um, I want to get the get a vented carbon fiber bonnet I would like the Mugen wider wings on the front uh, I have seen there's a Voltex do a really really nice front splitter for it that I've seen um, the back I'm not sure what I want I, I want the Mugen rear splitter um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the wing yet. Me and I've uh, been talking with my friend Luke about the wing and we're tempted to have a go at making one ourselves because there isn't a lot of option when it comes to the to the spoilers on these. You kind of got like the the feels, uh, the Mugen wing 
or the other one that's just like a, a lip I can't remember what who makes it now um, yeah I can't remember but anyway there's only really three up op three options so I'm tempted to have a go at trying to make one myself or like make a template so that somebody that's good at fiberglass can make it um, but yeah that, that's my plans for the outside I think the outside is going to be the main priority at the moment it's just tidying up the outside um, and then we'll, then once I've done that I'll probably move on to doing some stuff to the engine but um, let's go under the bonnet and I'll show you around show you around what's been done under there so uh, like I mentioned before it's a k24 bottom end with a k20 head on it the uh, I won't go into too much detail in it I'll I kind of I'll go over it a bit more in, in more detail in another video but the so it's k24 accord type s bottom end with a k20 head on it um at the moment it's got k24 cams in it should really have the k20 ones in um basically or that'll give it um a bit more advanced and um it'll just run a bit bit more aggressive with the k20 cam in it um so at some point i want to get um the k20 k20 cam in uh there's a few little bolt on bits that i want to do and then i'll probably take it for mapping to get it mapped properly um i don't know where i'll go with it yet probably maybe like tdi north or something but yeah so uh that's that's where the engine's at basically it's got a exhaust manifold nvidia cat back exhaust system the uh the intake it's got feed feed in this intake and then you've got a catch can down there uh, the hoses are heavy set hoses. This is actually a company that I used to own before I started this channel. Um, so yeah, they they are heavy set hoses. I'd actually like to get some red or black ones and go with like a, a red and black theme rather than the purple. So I don't know whether they'll stay on, but either way, I'll, I, I can get hold of hoses, obviously. So, <laughs> um, yeah, that's where that's at. It's on solid mounts. It needs to be on solid mounts when you put a K24 in, apparently, because the um the manifolds crack otherwise so um yeah it's it'll be a little bit of a learning process like i said i've not had a lot to do with the k series engines so far so it'll be nice learning a little bit more about them um but yeah that's that's where the engine's at um well, well that's where the car's at like i say the my main priority at the moment is just tidying up all those little bits of bodywork um, I've got a few, I'm going tomorrow to pick up a few little bits and pieces um, so I can make a start on it already. I've already bought loads of loads of things <laughs> for the car so um, there will be just tons of video. Hopefully I'll just be able to do a vi at least a video a week for the next, well, six months or so because there's just so much to do on the car. I'm not quite as worried about spending money on this car as I was the micro with the micro so it'll be a lot more consistent. Hopefully I'll be able to just do content more frequently with this car than I did with with the others. So um, and and because of the state that it's in it hopefully the content will be a bit more interesting as well. Um, but yeah that's my K24 FN2. Um, if you a fan of the project make sure you give the video a like and um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'll catch you in the next video peace out